you might ask how well the economy is doing, but you don't have to look very far. All you need to do is ask the middle class. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. If you want to have a strong economy, you need a strong middle class. This is extremely important, and you watch this in developing nations where there is a big divide in between the haves and the have-nots, the rich and the poor, you realize this in an exaggerated fashion. So we look today at what's happening, and it's very clear to me that there are circumstances right now that are evident when you increase interest rates after leaving them so low for so long, you run into some problems. When we look at a boom, it usually ends in a bust. It's not a healthy thing to create an artificial boom and bust as they do. But that's the business cycle that they've decided to create. You are the one that has to face the music when they decide to pull the plug. Not too fun. In today's video, we're going to look at the bankruptcies. We're going to talk about the layoffs and, of course, what the Walmart CEO had to say. When we do that, we're going to be able to realize what's happening on the horizon and make the best decisions. Are you interested? Well, let's begin. First thing, we can see that the layoffs and bankruptcies are piling up in the logistics sector amid a shocking downturn. Now, when I look at this, I think of a few things. If you remember during 2020, it was very clear that everything was in a shortage and you saw this consistently. We need more. We need more. Oh my goodness. We need more trucks. We need more ships. We need more people at the port. We need more containers. There were, there were trucks sitting on streets blocking people's driveways because they didn't know where to put it all. It, it was crazy. There weren't enough people at the port suddenly. We have gone complete 180, right? Not just in price. But the actual job, remember the jobs, truck drivers were being offered $150,000 and more in many cases. That is very unusual to see what has happened. And now the complete opposite. I mean, this is wild. We never seen anything like this. What happened? It was something interesting, okay? Because, you know, if you look 2016 all the way to 2019, you would say it's fairly normal and what happened. Supply and demand factors, all that. But as soon as we got into 2020, there were some issues because people stopped buying what they were buying before and they started to buy, you know, the hand sanitizers and all that stuff. And it was a huge surge. In fact, my mentor in the Amazon space and e-commerce space he said, you know, he was starting his own business selling all these things because of a partner of his wanted to get into the sanitizers, you know, take advantage of the trend. And he said that he could not even acquire small plastic bottles. It would, he could, he would look everywhere. Where do we get small plastic bottles? Impossible. So they had to do it in the big jugs. That was all that was available at that time at the peak of the market. Think about that. You can't even get it manufactured because the manufacturing was so busy, so backlogged that there was nobody available to get that done. That was the situation. We're not buying yoga pants from Lululemon. We're buying ridiculous amounts of hand sanitizer. And then the ships were filled with all that stuff. That's 2020. That's what was going on. And then suddenly, Lululemon says, hey, we want, we, we want this. We want a part of this. We want to ship stuff too. We need that, okay? And so all of this stuff started going onto those ships eventually, okay? So the, the millions and billions of yoga pants were starting to go on these ships and get carried over. But there was an issue because by the time they made it over, nobody wanted to buy it. They ordered so much because of the delay. They said, no, no, you know our normal order of like a million of those? No, no, no. let's do 10 million because it's going to take forever to get this manufactured. And so there was this huge surge, a massive surge. And it was met at the end of the day with deflation. And so they started to liquidate a lot of that. And so there have been many companies whether it's Ghost and there's there's other companies that if you're in the e-commerce space, you know about this. And if you're on my Sunday live sessions, 
Um, it's part of the mentorship group, what I call it. And, th you know, they know all about that. There are a lot of these companies that are liquidating things and new companies have popped up like Ghost as a result of this, taking advantage of these companies that couldn't sell their yoga pants to the women that needed it, okay? Or, or didn't need it anymore. So what do we have? We got a big problem. Now, I explained all of that. I think it's important that we understand the history and how we got here. Do you appreciate that information? If you do, hit that thumbs up. I appreciate when you do that. You can see that there are layoffs everywhere. Citigroup cutting over 300 senior manager roles in the latest restructuring. Oh, don't worry. When AI starts to come in, uh, it's going to be an even bigger problem. Media jobs slashed amid soft ad market. Ads are one uh, bellwether that you should be paying attention to, by the way. Ads are the one because, and by the way, it makes it cheaper to start advertising. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. But anyway, deflation could be coming this holiday season that's according to walmart's ceo looking at it that prices have fallen i don't think so especially on the general merchandise on some key grocery items as well yet the discounter struck a cautious tone saying that consumers uh, will continue to watch their spending and that has been seen everywhere okay i'm seeing people that make over 200 grand a year saying I got to watch out what's going on. I got to watch my spending. I know that to be the case, okay? I hear from people all over the world dealing with the exact same thing, business owners and not business owners, who are saying, now's the time I'm going to be cautious. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're going and taking all their cash and they're stuffing it under their mattress, not necessarily, but this is what people and businesses are doing right now, okay? It's a different world when you increase interest rates. Walmart Consumers no longer willing to pay whatever prices of goods are falling broadly as inflation shifted to services. And that is clearly the case. A lot of business up, right, down, left, center, they're all charging way too, in my opinion, way too much for what they offer. There's no question about that, okay? And, you know, you could see there's a lot of charts in this. You could see that whether it's import price index, consumer goods, excluding autos, has declined from the peak, but uh, you know, you you try and tell me where you see that as as a, a person shopping. I mean, it's just never around. The CPI for food at home index has increased. Okay, and that's the one. Like, you can't get around that. Yes, you can grow your food, but how many people do that today? Very few. So that means the inflation is being felt by these people more than ever before, and I worry about that. So we need to be growing our own food if we can. We need to be taking these steps to, you know, to shop at the right places where before, yeah, maybe I can get away with it. Now, they're tightening the screws, so we got to make the right choices. I've seen in many cases different supermarkets that will charge almost double, almost double what you can get at a different supermarket. Um, it depends on the quality is a factor too, but shop at the right place. I think that's important. Okay. I've covered this in a recent video. Didn't get many views, but how to save money on, on food. I, I covered the, the entire video was all about that. And so anyway, if you haven't seen it, definitely check that out. You could look at a video showing a moment of a mob of 40 people looting a FedEx truck while it's stopped at a red light. So I'm seeing this, I'm seeing carjackings, I'm seeing uh, break and enterings, there's, there's all kinds of stuff, sadly, that's going on right now. Um, generally, no repercussions for this, but it tells you something, and that is also because of this. Hunger in America is unabating, and in 2023, safety nets meant to catch people at their most vulnerable are seeing spikes in visits compared to last year. The food banks are going wild. What I'm trying to say here is that for a lot of people, they're in a worse economic situation than they were before. I'm not condoning any of that behavior. Okay, it's going on everywhere. It's it's crazy. It's sad. But what I'm saying is that people, the stats are showing up and people are hurting. People are suffering. And there's nothing being done from the government level that's going to support you. It's not going to be the case. You know, the food, are food banks going to really help? It's like the last line of defense. No, we need to tackle this thing from where it starts. And that's the money printing that they've been doing for so many years prior. If they really wanted to stop inflation, if they really truly wanted to stop inflation, they could have done that before, before they would have increased interest rates dramatically, caused a recession, a dramatic recession, 
and then it would have come back up in a short period of time. We have an example of this, very few, an example of this in 1920. I didn't say 1929, in 1920. If you have read my first book, you would know about the Depression of 1920. And guess when it ended? 1921. Okay, and it, what it was all about was cutting government spending, stopping all of their nonsense policies, getting things back, getting people to spend, getting them to feel more confident. And of course, it happened very quickly. Now, it's a different scenario than 1929, different scenario than today. But the point is, they're making a lot of wrong decisions, and that is leading up to a very different world from what we have seen right now i mean it's it's it should not be like this look if you are in dire straits if you need some assistance that's why i hooked up with money pickle money pickle helps you out of that money pickle okay so i hooked up with them because i needed somebody there who could be a cfp who could be a fiduciary to somebody you go in you click this link that's on my i'll put it in the description you click there you go over you you schedule um, a meeting with them okay and you can get free advice from them directly okay that's why i hooked up with them because it can give you that information for free to help your scenario hopefully so that you don't run into the same circumstance of so many people that are dealing with these things today okay so the link is in the description definitely check that out don't don't procrastinate on just get it done okay maybe you got a family member or so on just send them that link just send them the link directly to the money pickle site okay and the comment of the day says, nothing happens by accident. Thank you very much for your comment and everybody's comment as well. I do believe this. The cycles that we are running through today are intentional. It's not an accident. Oh, we're so incompetent. We, we you know, we, we screwed up. Not the case. It really isn't. And we've seen that so many times before. If you enjoyed this video, simply hit that thumbs up button. When you do, you're notifying others out there that this is an interesting one and you would like others to see it as well. Simply click that button to support me. And last but not least, I want to see you here tomorrow. Don't forget, you got to make sure you type in the money GPS and you will be able to get the latest and greatest. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.